all of you say how much I appreciate you for coming out tonight and spending a part of your evening with us. These are exciting times. Uh, I have never doubted that we were going to win this election, but I have never been more certain than I am tonight that we're going to win this election. <laughs> Simply put, the stakes are too high. We cannot afford a third general term. That's exactly what we get under Senator Bitter, except we would get a governor who would do equally bad, but he would have less morals. Yes. He would have less character. Yes. He, would, he would be more flawed. Yes. The state of Louisiana deserves better than that. Absolutely. Our children deserve a role model in the governor's That's office right. that you all can commend to them. Look, we've got so much work to do in Louisiana. And if we have someone who excels only at obstruction and division, it will never get done. Obstruction and division have never educated a child. They've never paved the road. It's never delivered health care. It's never done anything good. And that's why I know that the people of Louisiana are going to elect a leader, someone who has the ability, the proven ability, to work with people across the aisle, Republicans and Democrats and independents alike, to pursue the common interest, not the self-interest. We've had a governor for eight years pursuing the self-interest, and you see what that's gotten us. We're going to do better than that as a state because we simply have to. And I don't, I don't want to turn this into a full-blown stump speech, but just understand as we stand here tonight, ULL right here in Lafayette is being funded at 60% less state fund than they got eight years ago. The kids are paying more than 100% more in tuition and fees than they did eight years ago. That is a perfect disaster. Health care is broken in our state. The governor refuses to accept our federal tax dollars back to take care of our working poor in our hospitals, while our dollars go to all the 30 states that did expand their programs, taking care of their working poor and reimbursing their hospitals, while ours go without. And yes, 14 of those 30 states are led by Republican governors. So this is not about right versus left. This is about right versus wrong. And the right thing to do is to take care of the people who are in that. We've had a governor who, rather than working with educators, decided it was in his best interest to vilify them, demonize them, and blame them for all of our problems. Well, let me tell you, I sleep with the teacher. <laughs> and yes, David, yes, David, it's my wife. It's my wife. And she's going to be the next great state of Louisiana. Wouldn't it be great, wouldn't it be great for Donna to be the first lady? Even if you yeah. not care about that lady. She has been my partner in everything for 26 years, and she travels this state with me, and sometimes she goes off on her own to do things when we have to split up. But she is working extremely hard, and she's going to make this state the great first lady. Look, I told you all on Saturday night, we're close. We are close. There is not a poll today that doesn't show me winning. There is not a poll that doesn't have me above 50%. David Bitter, David Bitter knows his days are numbered, and he is desperate. I told you in an ad that came out, started running on Tuesday morning, David Bitter is desperate. All he knows is how to lie and how to be hypocritical. He's doing it. He's doing it. And the ads that he's running right now are disgusting. They are disgusting. But let me tell you, they are so over the top, they're not going to work for him either. They are not going to work for him. If you only knew the Republicans, the good Republicans, the independents, the Democrats who've come my way since Saturday, if you knew who they were and where they were, you would be as excited tonight as I am excited. <laughs> we have the momentum on our side. We have the momentum on our side. And yes, I said it the other night, and I've said it in the commercial because it's true. David Bitter wouldn't last a day at West Point. He wouldn't last a day at West Point because we don't allow lying, cheating, or stealing. And we don't tolerate those who do. Right? That's the code that I still live by. 
That's how I'm going to govern our great state. And if he believes, as he wants you to believe, that the biggest threat to Louisiana is the president of Washington, D.C., I suggest he stay his butt in Washington, D.C. and do something about it. I'm willing to help you. I'm willing to help you. Will you help me? Help me. Nobody has hurt our state over the last eight years more than Bobby Jones. Right. And David Bitter endorsed him when he ran for re-election in 2011. He said that he shared all the same political values and he praised his leadership. The leadership that has bankrupted our state, dismantled public education, destroyed higher education for too many people, put it out of their reach. Let me tell you, if he thinks that's good leadership, he wouldn't know good leadership if he stumbled across it and fell on his face. He wouldn't know. He wouldn't know. But we all have to come together because while we have the momentum and while we're leading in the polls, there's only one poll that matters, and that's the one on the 21st of November. And they are counting on us. They're counting on us not to vote in the same numbers that we voted on or increased numbers. Because let me tell you what I know. For him to be successful, he's got to get 75% of the Darden and Hill voters. He's not going to get that. He's, he has no path to build himself up to where he can get the votes that he needs. That's why he's trying to destroy our side. It is not going to work because you all are gonna join me in this effort. And you know how important it is. You know how high the stakes are, and you're gonna your family, your friends, your coworkers, the people that you go to church with, the people in your neighborhood, and you're gonna say, guess what? We're gonna early vote. Early vote starts on November the 7th, it ends on November the 14th. And for those people who don't early vote, you're gonna make sure they go vote on November the 21st, before they start watching television and football games and I think LSU's LSU's gonna be an old miss. Right? Yeah, we're gonna vote. We're gonna vote. Because we have to. We have to. The only path for David Vitter to the governor's mansion is if we don't vote. Now that isn't gonna happen. I feel the excitement building. We're actually gonna vote in increased numbers uh, from where we were last month. I'm gonna pray that it doesn't rain. But but you should all prepare for rain and vote early. Yes. There is, there, the truth is, there is no excuse to not vote when you have seven days of early mm -hmm. voting and election day. There is no excuse. So That's right. I'm just going to encourage you to be excited. I want you to be optimistic. I want you to be encouraged as I am. And I want you to be polite. I want you to be respectful. Because we got Senator David Bitter's tracker with us today. Is, right? They like snooping on people. Yeah. Uh, they like they like spying on people there and recording private conversations and sometimes they run down the street and hide under houses and all that kind of stuff. But there isn't anything there isn't anything that I have any fear of them capturing about what I'm saying. And I want him to bring this message back to his boss. David Bitter, you're done. to know, and I know that you know this, I love this great state of ours. The people are wonderful and generous and decent. Our culture is unique in all of the country, and really all of the world. We have a wonderful, beautiful state, and I will always put Louisiana first. I will always stand up against anyone who proposes something bad for this state. I don't care what party they are, and I will always stand up with someone who proposes something good for this state. I don't care what party they are. This is about putting people first, not politics. It's about putting our state first, not self-ambition. Something this state has not seen for eight years. And the last thing we need to do is turn the reins of state government over somebody 
who is going to continue in the direction we are currently doing is not going to happen. We're going to be victorious with your help. So I want to tell you one more time, thank you from the bottom of my heart for what you did this past Saturday, knowing you're going to do it again next month on November the 21st. And I want to invite all of you to come to my victory party. I don't know yet where it's going to be, but we're going to, we're going to have a bigger place than we had last time. Okay, we are looking forward to seeing all of you. Look, I believe in the power of prayer. It's an awesome thing. And while you can only vote once in this election, you can pray every day. Yes. And when you pray, pray for our state. I'd ask you to pray for me. And don't ever pray that God be on our side because the truth is the truth. The word is the word. God is God and we are not. He doesn't move. We better pray we're on God's side. That's right. So All right. Make that prayer. Make that prayer. And we're going to be just fine. We're going to be just fine. God bless all of you. God bless the state of Louisiana. And God bless the United States of America. Thank you.